Okay, I think my camera cut out on me, guys. I don't know at which point, but I'm jumping back in. Uh, just so you know, I've got uh, I've got the Gemini 7, the Apollo 11 mission launched. I've got uh, six turns left. I've got seven cards in my hand. What I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm out of fuel points. I do my discard. We're going to get rid of a Gemini. We're going to get rid of this corned beef card. Uh, that's not a good one to have in your hand. I'm going to refill my hand to eight cards. I'm going to mark off another turn. And I'm now down to five. I get to refuel my seven fuel points. Okay? We're going to complete a mission hopefully here soon. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm going to spend, I got to get to Apollo 11, and it's one, two, three, four, five spaces away. I spend five fuel. I've got that sucker launched. That leaves me two fuel. I move my, my lander. One, two, three, four, five. I take the patch from Apollo 11. I put it on the mission showing it's completed. I take all the equipment from that mission and I put it in the discard pile. Now, because I've completed Apollo 11, I get two bonus fuel. And I'll show you that. For completing missions, you get bonus fuel. I get two fuel added to my fuel cards every turn. So now instead of seven, I get nine, uh, which is important. And you get those immediately, and they're immediately usable. So Apollo 11, first mission down. Um, Got my Titan II. Let's go ahead and get a Redstone rocket on these uh, Mercury missions. We'll jump back around to them. Pag cost of one. We're going to drop it on the uh, Mercury II. Pay the one Pag cost. We're going to pay the launch cost of two and get him launched. So now we've got a Mercury II mission up in space. Okay. Uh, we want these missions rolling constantly if we can. And, um, gosh, I've got Gemini 7 launched. We're going to go ahead and play one move for Gemini 7, start working around to the Gemini missions. We're going to move our mission lander there. I'm going to play the instant plus three to any move for the trans first solo transatlantic flight. Drop that, and that adds three moves. One, two, three. I'm going to get around, and I'm going to complete these the daggone... Uh, Gemini missions. So now I'm down to one, two, three, four, five, six. I do my draw. One, two. Oh, and I gain a bonus fuel here. I've got a couple extra Apollo missions, which I'll probably end up discarding. But now I re, uh, I've refilled my hand. We go to the next turn. I discard that. I'm down to four turns left in the game, and I've got one mission completed. But I can do this. I can complete multiple missions in a turn. I now draw one extra card for the start of the game. And remember, if this was multiplayer, I could draw from the discard or the draw pile, but playing solitaire, you can only draw from the draw pile. I get my seven fuel tokens, plus two for completing Apollo 11. So I've got nine moves now. Okay, I can move uh, two spaces with the Mercury 2. So I'm going to move one, two. I'm over to Gemini 12. I play uh, the One Giant Leap for Mankind card, which gives a bonus of one move, gain one fuel. So I'm going to get that and then spend it to move one more. I'm trying to get around to Gemini 7. Oh, I'm right there, Gemini 12. Um, and I can move four spaces with Gemini 7. So what we're going to do is go ahead and spend our four fuel, go... One, two, three, four. I have now landed on Gemini 7. That mission is now complete. I discard the cards. I gain one bonus fuel for completing Gemini 7. So now I've still got four fuel in my hand. And every turn I'm going to get ten. Um, I know I'm going kind of quick here, but I'm trying to get as much information for you in as I can. Um, I still need a lunar module for the uh, Apollo 14. Um, and I need to launch this mission, Gemini 12. So I'm going to spend two fuel to launch the Gemini to give me a docking. And then I need three to launch the, that. So I'm going to use my Mercury 
my Mercury uh, mission here that I've already launched. It's been my last two fuel, and we're going to get back around here to Gemini 12 because I'm going to complete that next turn. I already know it. So I do my discard. I'm going to get rid of Apollo 15 just because I know I don't need that. And I got one, two, three, four, six, seven. I draw one new card. Got a Mercury spacecraft. I need another redstone. I need a uh, lunar module. I mark off one more turn. That leaves me three. I now uh, go to the next turn. I draw one new card. I get my seven fuel plus three for the missions I've completed. It gives me ten. So I got four, seven, ten fuel. And again, remember, these aren't final components. Um, these were just some we had made for this. Uh, boy. We're going to go ahead and spend the uh, three fuel to launch the Titan II for Gemini 12. And that allows me uh, to move four spaces. I need three. One, two, three. To complete Gemini 12, that's uh, Buzz Aldrin and Jim Lovell. And if I'm not mistaken, that was the uh, first U.S., or not first U.S. spacewalk. That was Ed White that did the first U.S. spacewalk. But uh, Buzz really figured things out on that spacewalk. Um, I get two fuel bonus, so now I get 12 fuel every turn. I'm going to go ahead and start working my way back around. I've completed the Gemini missions on that side. I've got one Apollo mission and two Mercury missions to complete with three turns left. Um, I'm going to spend, I can move two spaces a turn with this Mercury mission, and I may have made a mistake in, in my decision making here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spend the two, and we're going to work back around here to Mercury 2 and 3, which are my two missions. So if I can get this second one launched, I can get here and I can pop back to Apollo 14, complete it, launch another mission, and then get to the moon. Now, I've got to relaunch a mission. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Gemini, and I'm going to spend a fuel to put a Gemini spacecraft. Again, you've got to use a relaunched mission to get to the moon. So once you complete these six, you've got to relaunch one of them or a new one from your hand and get to the moon. And I'm going to go ahead and spend two fuel and get this Titan II down here. Get that out of my hand. And okay, so we're looking pretty good. All right, uh, my next move is discard. Discard a card, and we're going to get rid of this Mercury spacecraft. I've had it forever, don't need it. And that leaves me with six. Draw two, that gets me to eight. I deduct one turn, I'm down to two turns. I've complete, I get seven fuel points, plus two for Apollo 11, plus two for Gemini 12, uh, and one for Gemini 7. That gives me uh, 12 fuel. And if you don't spend fuel on a turn, it is lost. You don't uh, get uh, to save it for future turns. This is basically uh, fuel points represent um, not necessarily rocket fuel, but it represents funding from Congress, popular support among the, the uh, folks back home. So there's four, eight. I draw my one new card. I've got my new fuel. I've got two turns left. And I need help. I need help. I could actually, oh boy, what do I want to do here? I want to, I'm going to prepare myself to relaunch a, uh, well you know what, I'm going to spend three fuel, I'm going to relaunch Gemini 7. This is going to give me more fuel each turn or more moves. I'm going to spend two for my Mercury 2 and move my ship to 1, 2. I'm going to spend four for my Titan 2 for my relaunch Gemini 7. So I'll spend those four. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 
I'm going to spend one fuel to drop an Apollo spacecraft onto re Apollo 11, just in case I can relaunch that. I will do my discard. I'm going to discard Gemini 11. I've got two fuel points left. I'm going to spend the two fuel points to discard Apollo 17. So that gives me six cards in my hand. I draw my two. That brings me to eight. I drop it down. I've got one turn left and I've got three missions done. Uh, I played twice last night that I didn't record. I won two, lost one. This one's looking like a loser. I hate saying that. Um, gosh, four, eight, nine. Oh, and I get my 12 fuel points. Choo choo choo. Five, nine, and three. Twelve. Man, I made some bad decisions here, guys. Um, I'm going to spend, gosh, I just don't have enough. I, I, I made a poor decision in my launch decision, my order of operations. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend two to move my Mercury two. One, two, and then I'm going to spend one, two, three more using the Gemini seven to complete Mercury two. So there's another mission completed. I put my equipment from that into the discard pile. I gain my one bonus fuel for completing Gem Mercury 2. And I've got eight fuel left. I've moved all of them. I can spend one fuel, drop uh, the lunar module for Apollo 14. It cost me four fuel to launch Apollo 14. So now I've got up Apollo 14, tag on them, I've come so close. And then I'm going to spend three fuel, one, two, three, my last three fuel, and I'm one space from completing Apollo 14. Guys, this one I have lost. Um, my last turn marker is going to run out, and I've still got two uncompleted missions here. Um, this could have went much differently if I had, I think I spread myself out. Um, too much. I should have concentrated maybe on uh, finishing the, the Gemini missions first and I was jumping around a bit but I was try kind of trying to go quick. I think I've played a game here in like under 30 minutes. Again that was a little bit of a rush job um, but uh, with multiple players you, you set the deck accordingly. Uh, with this one I think there's when you play solitaire, I think there's 60, 70 cards in the deck. Uh, these you add if there's, you know, two, three, four players. It's more ships, more uh, the missions. Um, so, you know, with the uh, again, with the uh, Soviet moon expansion that's going to come with the game, you get the Russian cards. These are printed on paper. That's why they look so bad. But um, And the Russians... Are moving up on the track every turn instead of using fuel counters to count your turn they're moving up on a track when their cards are drawn it moves them either up or down on the track like Sputnik moves them up too but with you accomplishing certain missions you can block them from uh, gaining the milestone I don't know how else to put it but they achieve certain things before you and uh, it allows them to continue on um, Sergey Korolev, uh, I don't know how many of y'all know, he was the huge, uh, you know, Russian space pioneer. He'd been held in a gulag until the space program started rolling, and then they brought him out. And once he died, everything went south for them. He died in 66, and after that, they had two big failed rockets. Anyway, enough on that. Uh, I'm going to do some more playthroughs for you guys. I'll try and get some, if I can grab some uh, friends or fellow gamers Maybe I'll do a 2-3-4 player. I know I went quick. I apologize. Um, please, uh, you know, let people know about this campaign. I think it's a great game. Um, it's fast playing. It's got some great history. I mean, Van is going to come, you know, with the, the history on the cards. But we're also doing a, uh, a booklet with it with the history. You know, Titan 2 launch. He talks all about it. <coughs> um, and it's historically... Everything makes sense. You know, it costs th two to get this rocket on a pad. Well, for a big old Saturn V, it costs three. And to launch it, 
It cost three for the uh, Titan II. It cost four for the Saturn V. But this gives you four spaces of movement. The Saturn V gives you six. So the order you do things and the decisions you make are huge in this game. Uh, there's a lot more depth here than what you know you would think initially looking at it. <coughs> um, but it is it's educational. It's fun. I'll probably play a couple more games tonight. I just don't feel like recording them all. Um, I may go stop. And just so y'all know, um, I am a huge space geek. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, here I'll turn my camera up a little bit. See if you can see the shirt. I picked this up. I got to go to uh, NASA. This is all the Apollo missions. I got to go to Cape Kennedy uh, for the test rocket launch, SpaceX launched the Falcon 9, and I got to go up close to the rocket, got to be there inside the ropes, and uh, yeah, it's just a really cool thing. If you ever get a chance, I highly recommend it. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Sorry about the uh, poor production uh, quality, but I, I did the best I could here. I went quick. Um, October 3rd, 6 p.m., it'll be live uh, on Kickstarter. Tranquility Base. If you back it on Kickstarter, you're going to get the free Soviet Moon expansion. It'll be a separate box game. The goal right now is to have it to where uh, the Soviet Moon game will fit inside the box for Tranquility Base, but it'll be a separate box. So you'll have a box inside a box. Um, thanks, guys. Uh, check it out and uh, happy flying.